There are 130,000 buffalo in the United States today. And while that may sound like an imposing number, it pales in comparison to the number that once roamed the plains of America. It is estimated that over 30 million buffalo existed about 150 years ago. They were the lifeblood of Native American culture, providing food, clothing, and having a religious significance as well. Dave and Valerie Hyder have learned all about this. They own a ranch in Janesville, Wisconsin, where they have a herd of buffalo. One morning, late last summer, Dave woke up and went outside to search for a baby buffalo he knew was about to be born. What he saw changed his life forever. As Dave Hyder looked for the baby buffalo, what he beheld was a phenomenon and a mystery, a female white buffalo calf. Although he didn't know its significance at the time, Dave did know it was very rare. He came up to the house. I was on the telephone talking to my sister, and he's like, hurry up. You've got to come. Hurry up. <laughs> so when we got up there, I said, oh, <laughs> we better go get some film for the camera. <laughs> the Hiders would soon learn that the only surviving white buffalo born in this century was named Medicine Man, a male born in 1933. In fact, the odds of a white buffalo being born are one in 10 million. So they named her Miracle. As word spread, the quiet and calm of Dave and Valerie Hyder's 46-acre ranch would soon vanish, perhaps forever. Thousands of native North Americans began flocking to the ranch. To them, the female white buffalo was sacred, fulfilling a centuries-old prophecy. The legend goes that the spirit of a holy woman once appeared to the Lakota Sioux Indians in South Dakota. She taught the Indians several religious rites and gave them a pipe which, when smoked, lifted their prayers to the great spirit, their God. Just before leaving, she promised she would return one day. And when she did, it would be as a female white buffalo calf. To the Sioux, the Hyder's white buffalo fulfills their prophecy. My grandfather told me that I may live long enough to might see it, where the world's going to change. And when that change has come, it's going to be peace, love, and harmony. These days, when Dave Hyder looks at Miracle, he sees a grayish buffalo but one no less important to Native Americans. The prophecy holds that Miracle will change color three more times, ultimately becoming white once again. During their quieter moments, the hiders reflect on the mystery of it all. Why us? Why were we chosen? We haven't figured well, we it out yet. Figured it out. You know, we've been told we've been chosen for this calf because of what you see uh, we got chickens raising ducks and turkeys raising peacocks and everything kind of in harmony, I guess. And they claim that uh, Native Americans say that's why we were chosen. I don't know as though I believe the legend per se, uh, but I do know watching that many people come through our driveway that something is happening. There's power here. Exactly. The day that calf was born, there was seven tribal nations that had been fighting for over 200 years. And that day, three of those nations signed a peace treaty among themselves. On that day, is that coincidence or what? The people that come here are looking for something. And possibly this is what they're looking for, this, this white calf, because it was said that she has been sent here to change the world. And if she can do a tenth, of what they say that she's been sent here to do. You better hang on, buddy, because we're in for one hell of a change. 